LSN TAP presents 10 tips for cybersecurity. You can use a password manager like LastPass to keep all your passwords in one place. The software allows you to create and store strong passwords for all your employees and change passwords simply and easily when the employees leave your organization. Allowing your employees to choose their own passwords means that the passwords won't be secure. It also means that your employees are likely reusing their personal passwords for work. Reusing passwords means that if an employee's personal account got hacked, then the hackers would also have access to their work accounts since they share a password. When people who work for companies that build operating systems find an exploit or a loophole in the OS, they make a Windows update. Ensuring your systems are all updated is the best way to keep your computers clean and infection free. Free public Wi-Fi networks, such as those provided by cafes or hotels, don't encrypt their data traffic, so plain text, unscrambled images, and sound flying over their networks are all there for enterprising hackers to intercept or collect. So passwords, finan financial information, and sensitive images aren't safe. You need to inform your workers that when using public Wi-Fi, they are not lo to log into their work email as this could compromise your system and allow access to a hacker. Basically, redundant data storage provides protection against hard drive failure rather than an actual backup of your data. Computers with critical data should have set up with redundant backups in place so that in the event of a virus or malware issue, your data can all be restored. You can use services like Backup Buddy to automatically create backups of your website, which you can deploy in the case of an attack. Having dedicated portable hard drives that regularly back up your files will add an extra layer of protection. All the antivirus software and all the backup systems in the world won't keep your office completely free of cybercrime as long as somebody can just walk into your office unchallenged and either pick up a post-it note with a password on it or sit down at somebody's logged in computer. To safeguard your office, Consider employing somebody to watch the front door or keeping it locked. Never let your employees physically write down passwords. Don't figure out how to deal with a cybersecurity attack after it happens. Make a plan and test it. You don't necessarily have to infect your network for a test. Just tell your employees that a virus has infected the network. Ensure everyone knows what to do in order to restore backups, change company passwords, etc. Don't just have a backup system in place for your website test the backup system and ensure it works. If in performing your test, your office is unable to restore backups locally, change passwords, etc. without having a problem, then when you actually have a real attack, your office will be much better prepared. Basically, phishing is when you receive an email pretending to be from a website or financial institution that attempts to trick you into revealing your password or logging you into a banking center. You might get an email that looks like it comes from your bank, except the URL doesn't go to bankofamerica.com, it goes to something like bankofa.com, or bankofamerica.info, or something like that. When you click the link, it will take you to a login page, and that login page will look almost identical to the login page you're used to, uh, because they designed it like that. And then you enter your password, and when you log in, suddenly the thieves all ha have your banking information. You need to educate your office about how to spot phishing scams, Avoiding them can be as simple as never logging into any of your websites from links sent via email. Uh, if you get an ominous email about your checking account, pick up your phone and actually call your bank rather than clicking through in the email. By regularly monitoring your credit and online banking institutions, you can find and fix problems before they get worse than they already are. There are services online that will allow your organization to monitor their credit in real time thus ensuring nobody has fraudulently opened any lines of credit or done any damage to your company's credit score. If a Bluetooth device is in your area, your phone or computer can connect to it automatically. Since Bluetooth requires no password, it can be an easy way for hackers to hijack your devices and steal your passwords. The problem is there are four different pairing methods for Bluetooth. Numeric compression, just works, out of brand, band, passkey entry, and each of these different Bluetooth types has its own specific flaws and vulnerabilities. Uh, numeric comparison, for example, requires a display. Not all devices have one. While JustWorks is vulnerable to attacks and exploits, 
Out of band requires a separate channel for communication, and not all devices support this, and passkey entry can be eavesdropped against, at least in its current state. If you monitor your Windows user accounts and internet traffic of your employees, you can prevent a lot of potential cybersecurity attacks. EXE files and other things downloaded from the internet can easily be an infection point. Thanks for watching. Be sure to join our Google group with the link provided.